beautiful souls. This is Christy with Art of Awakening. Thank you for watching. Welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is going to be a reading for the month of May 2019. And I can't, can't believe April is almost over. I've been posting a video a day for April. And wow, it's been, it's been kind of fun. It's been really fun. Um, but it's also a little tiring. So um, I'm going to be maybe not posting quite as often, but um, definitely still will be posting quite a lot in May as well. So, um, you know, stay tuned. But uh, today I'm going to be using three decks. They're all animal decks. The first is the Medicine the Cards deck. I kind of like doing these readings with like multiple animal decks. It's kind of fun. Um, the second will be the Animal Messages deck. Uh, that was Susie Green's. And then the third is my own Spirit Animal Awareness deck. And um, I'm going to just pull at least one card from each. I may just pull a card a week and see what that fourth card wants to be or which deck it wants to come. Or if it just intuitively pops into my mind, it could be an animal that does that. So, uh, starting off uh, for the first week of May 2019. Um, let's see, I think I'm going to be pulling from the Medicine Cards deck here. I already shuffled these, but let me go ahead and shuffle more. Here we go. This one is deer. And in general, just a, a quick, quick note about this May energy in general before we get into deer here. Um, this is actually a, a sketch I'm going to be painting pretty soon, um, but it was inspired by an image that came forward in a reading that I had for a client, uh, and kind of an intuitive energy scan, and this came forward, and it was beautiful. It was not quite the way, I mean, I've embellished on it a little bit, but I just saw this yin-yang symbol starting to burst into bloom. And I thought that was a wonderful image. And that, the more I think about it, the more it really fits what's happening right now. Um, in, 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 I'm th feeling is going to accelerate as we go into May. A real, just blooming of all sorts of things. You know, I'm seeing it in my business. I'm seeing it in... Um, even just manifestation is just like happening like crazy. It, it feels like anymore. Like I'm finding I think something and it lines up where it happens. It's insane. Um, and I'm seeing other people just get really excited about things happening. Uh, doors opening. Um, a lot of energy. The flip side of that is whenever there's, you know, a lot of creative or, you know, it's a lot of volatility you know, the process of creation is volatile. It's like this, you know, bubbling, boiling pot, bubbling cauldron. Sometimes that can erupt in, in ways that aren't so fun if things aren't aligned real well or if, if, if the energies involved are not really well aligned or harmonized. So the biggest thing that Spirit's telling me this month is whether it's positive changes or challenges that we're dealing with, because of these volatile energies or this this sense of you know things expanding and, and interacting in order to create sometimes I guess a better way to say it is like sometimes in the process of creation destruction has to happen first in order to make way for the new so it depends on kind of where you're at in the cycle of your own life um, or it could be in the greater society you know, what part of that you're seeing. So there could be some things happening that maybe are, you know, not all, you know, beauty, but just keep in mind that it's just to make way for the beauty. It's just to clear stuff out so that we can build something wonderful and beautiful as a collective. And, and this could be true in your own life as well. So the big encouragements from spirit right now is to ground, is to really center, anchor, ground, um, you know, breathe, because the more we are really just centered in who we are, calm, and remaining calm, remaining focused on what's important, remaining focused on the light, and allowing everything else to just kind of fall away or allow the angels to take care of it. There, there may be some things beyond our control. Hand it over. Okay, we can have handoffs 
we can hand it off to spirit. We can hand it off to the angels. We can trust, you know, and ask that things resolve in a way that's for the highest good of everybody. And the important thing is not to get flustered by it because that's feeds that just feeds into it, right? We don't want to feed into it. We, we just, you know, the best thing that we can do to, to keep things on an even keel and to keep things expanding in beautiful ways or to at least start to direct it in that, that way is to stay very, you know, very much centered and very much focused on what's good and the positive and the goals that we want um, without letting things phase us too much. And it is, it is a choice. It's a choice. We get to control how we react to things. So are we going to, you know, actually respond in a way that's logical or, you know, in a way that helps everybody, you know, in, 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 in rather, rather than just reacting in a knee jerk way. Right. So keeping an eye on the emotions. All right. So first week of May, deer is coming up. <laughs> this beautiful animal as sensitive, gentle. I always see deer as a real heart and animal. And so it's opening up to innocence. I think this theme of innocence has been coming forward a lot. And part of it is this whole dynamic with the masculine and feminine energy starting to really interact and bring forth manifestation. That's the child aspect. And a, a big part of actually helping that to, to helping those energies along, you know, helping this birth happen is to stay in contact with our inner child because our inner child is, sees the possibilities. And if you, you know, you, children, if you don't tell them they can't, they will find a way to do what we think is impossible, but they don't know it's impossible. So they do it. Um, children still have that magic within them. We all do. We have it. But, you know, the very young child, they believe. And if you don't tell them they can't, they, they make it happen. So let's reconnect with our inner child this, this coming week, the first week of May. Um, it's a really good time to be able to do that. But in order to do that, we also need to protect that child, right? Because it's really easy for the innocent to get preyed upon. Um, you know, this happens in the natural world. This is a little fawn here on this card. Um, so we want to make sure that we have our barriers up, we have our protections. Um, you know, do your clearing, do your smudging, do your, you know, stay aware and you know, know what it feels like in your body when something doesn't feel right, pay attention to that, okay? And take whatever steps you need to to protect yourself and to give your inner self, inner child, a, a, a space that is free where it can play. Um, play is another one that's going to come forward uh, and be very beneficial this first week of May, especially always, but this first week of May, allow yourself to play. Okay. So for the second week of May, this is Raven. Okay. And the card itself, the message on that is to listen to your intuition, receive a message from the world of spirit. I think it goes hand in hand with that deer with the child aspect because the children are open. They're, they're wide open to spirit. And that's why so many children have invisible friends. Well, those are their spirit guides that they're talking to, you know. Um, so the protection here, I think, again, this is a reiteration of, you know, don't let things tell that inner child that it can't be done. You know, don't be gaslighting your inner child and telling them that they're really not experiencing it because, you know, because that's just a dream or you know, it, it, listen, pay attention to your dreams. Your dreams can happen. And this, this energy right now in May is a beautiful manifestation energy for making dreams happen. Um, your dreams can happen, but you need to maintain that faith. Faith is a beautiful kind of a feminine um, protection um, element or, or energy. Like the Archaia faith is the twin flame of Archangel Michael. It's a protection energy. 
allowing that child, you know, it's, it's maintaining that belief. It can happen. It does happen. It is happening. Right? Um, you know, if you believe in it. And hold that belief, hold it, hold hold the uh, intention in your mind. You don't have to know how it's going to happen, but you know, just believe. As long as it's for the highest good, it will it will manifest. So definitely listen to that intuition, and don't let doubts and fears, you know, stifle it. And for the third week, rabbit. And another very sensitive creature. Another very sensitive creature. So we've got a lot of sensitivity coming up here in May. Okay, so listening. I'm seeing this rabbit just listening, keeping its eyes open, keeping its ears open, being very aware, being very alert. So a rabbit has to be aware and alert. It's food for everything, pretty much. You know, everything eats rabbits. So uh, again, this is, this. is I'm seeing this as a real... Like this whole reading is panning out to, um, you know, be aware, be alert, and and keep that sensitive, very creative, very abundant um, part of you, protect it and allow it, believe it, right, um, and 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 don't let things, because because anything the doubts and fears that's what kills it, that's what eats the rabbit, right, that's what slays the whole thing. Um, you know, that vulnerable, little, magical, creative aspect within ourselves. And I am being, let's see, which one? Stork. <laughs> I don't know why a stork came into my mind. So I'm just going to kind of, I'm also going to pull this. Okay, so stork, again, is associated with the, you know, the, the ch child and um, bringing new life into the world. Um, and this is bat, too. Again, super sensitivity. Okay, so this is, Alyssa, look at this message here on bat. You have the power to transcend failure and move into a limitless future. Limitless future. You have the power to do that. Look, is that magical or what? It's a mammal. It's got fur, it looks like a, a mouse or a rat or something, but it's freaking flying. I mean, that's impossible, right? <laughs> but it's doing it. And it's also another creature that's very, very sensitive. It's got this ultrasonic hearing in it. It really finds its way through the dark, um, you know, by, first of all, by speaking. So using the voice, speaking, speaking your intentions, right? And it can be just to spirit or you can talk to other people. This is what I'd love to see. This is my vision. Um, you know, if, if oh, but be, again, be very careful who you express that to. If you think at all that that person might react negatively or say, oh, that's not possible or whatever, just, just don't, right? Save it for people who you know are going to believe in the magic that you believe in. Okay, and, and but then definitely if you find those people, express it, express it because the word in the word, right, it, it, that's that's where creation starts. And what the bat does is it throws its voice out and then the voice, you know, the, the sound that the bat makes ricochets off objects and comes back to it so that it can find its way. So really, I'd say incorporate if you're not already doing this. Um, positive affirmations. You can incorporate it into your prayers. You can ask, you know, for this or something better. And ask, I'm going to suggest, ask that it be easy. Ask for ease. Right? Because it doesn't have to be hard. Manifesting does not have to be hard. We, like, there's, a, like, a lot of a struggle with this idea that you have to work hard to get what you want. But you don't, right? It can be play. Um, you know, animals do. They're programmed to do what brings them pleasure. So when they find food, it's usually activity that, you know, that they're suited to, that feels natural to them. So, you know, um, think about it. We're not meant to be slaves. We're meant to be free and joyful. So, okay, just to sum up this month of May, uh, incredible energy for manifestation and incredible energy for you know the creative energy is really high right now um, but 
in order to create what you want. We're really tapping into that inner child, that little, you know, creative voice. Um, and it needs to be protected. It needs to be ex protected, protect, protected, especially from doubts. Okay, doubt is going to be the big bugaboo for this month. So it's, you know, believe in miracles because miracles do happen. Look at that bat, <laughs> you know. Um, and when we're really aligned with our highest essence, miracles can and do happen. So big message of hope for me. And uh, I, I really wish you the best. Hold on to those dreams. Hold tight to those dreams. Because if, if, if you're really getting, you know, something that recurring that comes to you, like, I see this, I see this for the future and it would benefit everybody, really hold on to that. Share that vision with those who are open to it. Because the more we work together, like when lightworkers come together, magical things really do happen. So, um, you know, go to it, express yourself to those who will be receptive and just know that magic does happen. So have a wonderful month of May. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in booking a session with me, or if you'd like a, a copy of my spirit animal awareness deck, those links are below. Thanks so much to those people who have ordered and enjoy enjoy your month have a lovely day and i'll catch you catch you again later